What's up guys? I know I'm a little bit late to the party on this one, but I just wanted to cover this for those of you who might have missed the news. Basically, two Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas are getting their Extreme Z Awakenings. The first one is the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, one of the best tanks in the game. And then the second one is the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who is a non Doka FS unit. So in this video, I just want to quickly go over the changes they've made, as well as do a brief overview of the Extreme Z Battle event as well that you'll need to run to get their medals and Extreme Z awaken them. So without further ado, let's just uh, jump right into it. So this is the STR one. He is the Dokkan Fest exclusive one. His uh, leader skill went from STR types attack plus 80% to STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, which is excellent. It's the same as LR Broly. So he's a solid STR lead if you guys don't have any other better leads like SSJ4 Goku or, you know, the other leads out there. Okay, moving on, we have his super attack, which went from supreme damage and high chance to stun the enemy to immense damage which is awesome with a high chance to stun the enemy so same chance to stun which is about 50 percent i believe 50 percent okay so 50 percent chance to stun and immense damage instead of supreme his passive went from reduced uh, reduced damage received by 80% for 7 turns to 80% for 10 turns, so 3 more turns of super tanking and attack plus 120% when the enemy is stunned. So that's awesome. Okay, so initially when you first start, he's just going to be an amazing tank and now he has uh, a longer duration for his tanking and he will also be a fairly hard hitter when you stun the enemy, which, you know, you have a high chance to stun, so when you get that stun off, he'll be able to do quite a bit of damage and also of course you don't just have to rely on this guy's um, stun if you want to run a team with some other units that can stun as well like STR Jiren for example really really good change I really love that uh, for his links they probably stayed the same his categories I'm sure they stayed the same as well Super Saiyan 3 pure Saiyans these are the stats I think those were his old max stats and then once you extreme Z awaken him these are his new max stats very high attack really high HP defense etc so Really, really good. Let me see if there's anything else I missed here. Um, and so it can go up to 15 after Extreme Z Awakening. His animations will change a little bit, but they'll pretty much be the same. So nothing else there. Okay, so this is STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I love the changes. He's, I think he's going to be really strong. Can't wait to see people on the JP side test him out because as you guys know, I mainly play global, so I'm probably not going to have the units to actually complete this event. But anyways, let's move on to the tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta now and see what he's all about. So this is Power to Decimate, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. His leader skill went from all types key plus 3 to all types key plus 3. HP attack defense plus 40%, so eh, still not great. Final final Flash uh, causes supreme damage to enemy, and now it's causes supreme damage and lowers attack. Of course, as you guys know, if you've been you know following these Extreme Z Awakenings for a little while, that they don't give immense damage multipliers to non Dokkan Fest units. So Supreme Damage, no surprise there, and then they tacked on the lowers attack. As for his passive, it went from 70% to start of turn, which is okay, but now he gets 90%, and key plus 2 and defense plus 120% when key is 10 or more. So now he's a little bit more self-sufficient as far as key goes to get the super attacks off, and he's also going to be a very good tank. 120% defense is nothing to scoff at, so I love that change. Plus 20% uh, attack and plus 120% defense now. Links are the same, categories are the same, uh, previous old, previous max stats and new max stats are not bad. The stats are pretty much in line, I believe, with the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who, as we now know, is quite strong. So. It's going to be good, guys. It's going to be really good, and it's always good to see older units get Extreme Z Awakenings and become viable again. Um, so that's all I have to say about him. There's nothing else, really. Of course, he uses these medals to awaken, and last but not least, we're going to go over to the SSJ3 Vegeta Extreme Z Battle. Pretty standard stuff, you know, he gets more damage reduction as you go down, he is, uh, he gives you orbs, he gives you Kai, some medals as you go through the first 30 levels, and every level that you clear for the first 30, you get a free dragon stone so in total when you complete all 30 levels oh, and of course beyond level 30 you get a uh, platinum hercule statue for 1.5 million zenny and as far as the total rewards 15 bronze medals 40 silver 30 gold 30 rainbow and enough str orbs to rainbow a unit from like, bring it from zero percent to hundred percent and still have some left over 11 supreme kais or uh grand kais and 30 uh dragon stones and you go down here, some additional information is that you can't revive, um, cost zero stamina, and then after you, 
you complete them, you can use stamina to replay. Can't bring any items. Um, you basically can't use Devilman because they nerfed him for these events. Character from the Super Saiyan 3 category take less damage, mitigate dam uh, Vegeta's damage reduction, cause increased damage. However, they won't bypass Vegeta's damage reduction against specific types. Note, allies that are not part of the effective category are also not of the effective type. will have to face both damage reductions. So basically, you don't want to bring a unit that's not part of Super Saiyan 3 and also physical because that's a bad idea because he's they're basically going to do no damage to him so you want to bring Super Saiyan 3 type units ideally a full team of Super Saiyan 3 uh, characters led by uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock unfortunately for me I don't have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock so when this comes to global it's gonna be a kind of tricky kind of tough but Maybe, hopefully, maybe around Christmas time, I'll be able to pull Super Saiyan 3 Bardock finally and run that team. I, I really want to run that team, guys. I really want Bardock, but anyways, that's besides the point. Um, get these medals for re-clearing. And as far as missions go, you get four stones in total, one for... Well, I'm not going to read them out. You guys get the point. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, and that's the event, guys. So... In a nutshell, um, this guy's gonna be really good. I can't wait to see how he can perform. I can't see, wait to wait, wait to see the showcases, and uh, he's very solid as well. The Tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, what you guys think of both of these units. Whether you think they were these Extreme Sea Awakenings are good, or maybe you thought they could have done a little bit more. You know, a little bit more with each of these units. In my opinion, I think it's good. I think um, this guy being super tanky makes sense. Of course, the uh, STR one is extremely tanky as he was before, and now he can actually do damage, which was one of his huge drawbacks, was that he never had any defense on his passive. So now he's one of the best tanks, and he can probably dole out some really, really good damage. I can't complain. I think it's awesome. So that's my opinion. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. And that's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah.